Hi, I'm Jeremy and I work in customer service here at Evolution Industries. This is an instructional video on how to set up Evolution's elevated vacuum system for internal seals. The built-in reservoir on our seal plates prolongs your vacuum suspension. This configuration builds on our elevated vacuum concept, which refers to any system that holds additional vacuum. This makes using a detached vacuum mechanism a much more viable option and also saves battery life on your electronic pump. In studies, we found that the seal plates can extend the vacuum life in your socket from 45 minutes to anywhere from four to six hours, which is a huge increase. In addition, this seal plate has a push button release that allows air back into the socket for easy removal. To set up this system, you will need an expulsion valve kit, part number VV01-002, and the blue seal plate with release valve, part number VSP-002. You can also buy both of these kits together in a combo pack, part number CB02. From the expulsion valve kit, you will use the valve plate, part number VMP-007, the expulsion valve housing, part number VV03-001, and the small seal. You will not use the large seal, the orange seal, or the duckbill valve. Your blue seal plate will come pre-assembled and will also include an O-ring, part number VVO3-OR, to seal the blue plate to the valve plate. To set up your system, take the socket with the valve plate gunked in place. For more information on setting up the valve plate, check out the valve manual on our website. Now once the valve plate is gunked onto the socket, you'll need to take your small seal and insert it into the center of the mounting plate. Then take your expulsion valve housing and screw it clockwise to secure it to the plate. Using your wrench tool, Part number WT001, tighten the housing to ensure a good seal on the distal end of the socket. And be careful not to over tighten. Now once the housing is set, take the O-ring and fit it into the recess of the valve plate. Then take your seal plate and line it up with the four hole pattern and press down. Using four screws, tighten the plates together. Once the screws are tightened, inspect the plates to make sure there's no gaps in between. Now, to show you how the system works, we're going to use a foam model of a residual limb fitted with an origin liner and one of our echo locking seals. Now, once the liner and the echo are donned over the residual limb, be sure to lubricate the ring to aid in the donning process and also to protect the echo. Now as the patient steps into the socket, air is going to be expelled out of the distal end and you can press the release valve to expel the air faster. Once the patient is in, release the button and you are held in suspension. Now once they're in, using Tygon tubing, 
you can connect it to the vacuum hookup on the side and the other part hooks up to your electronic device or any type of detached vacuum device you have. So in conclusion, this convenient elevated vacuum system minimizes your pump use. This leaves your patient free to do other things rather than worry about their vacuum level. We highly recommend this configuration for the Aura and Echo because you get the prolonged suspension from the elevated vacuum reservoir and the freedom of movement from our logging seals. If you have any more questions, please call us at Evolution at 1-888-839-6213. Thank you.